Hello, my name's Fonzie, and I'm here to talk about the new gear that came out for Terra Online, known as the Standfast and also the Wonder Home. That's a weird name. I think about it. I will be calling them SF and uh, HM from now on. That way, you guys can keep up with me. All right, let's go to the first one. The first armor pieces I'll be talking about are for the Standfast and the WH armor. Let's see. To me, there's no difference between this chest piece, the Standfast, and the WH armor. Because to me, the Standfast is a lot better because it's easier to get. If you have a lot of free time, I recommend... Well, I really don't recommend it at all because to get one of these, you have to do hard mode of... Let's see, WH hard, no, hard mode or normal mode. No, prob only hard mode. Yeah, only hard mode. You do hard mode, and it usually takes about three hours if you don't have a good gear team. Two hours if you have a good gear team, in my experience. I don't see it worth the time at all. The only difference is it gives you one extra stat. Like for this one over here, it just gives you a cooldown on shield barrage by 10%. Not very useful, in my opinion. It doesn't even help in PvP, because this is not PvP gear. Uh, let's see. Other than that, I recommend you just go for Stand Fast. There's no point getting Home Warden Guard. They'll come over with new gear in three months from now, so just save your time and money and gold. Buy costumes. Okay, the next piece. Okay, the next piece we're going to talk about are the boots. In my opinion, Standfast is still the best armor. Just look at it right now on the screen. This is the boots. The only difference is that the WH armor you have to grind for, which takes three hours to do. And I don't like to do that. Just for one extra stat. According to this stat, oh no. They're almost basically the same. At least on the image wise. But. I just go for Standfast. There's no point wasting your time trying to master work WH because in three months from now they're going to come out with new gear that's going to be better than this one right here. So just get Standfast. And the reason I say that is because I used to wear Nexus armor for over a year. It was plus 12 and everything. So I really recommend you don't get what to go home guard and just master work it because it's a lot harder to do. Standfast is a lot easier and save you time. And now we can move on to the gloves. You can see here that once again I can prove to you it's not really worth because there's only 100 defense difference between each one. Like yes, WH armor is better than Standfast armor but only by 100. So if you add 100 defense, that's like 300 difference and that's not going to make a big difference in my opinion. And also uh, the weapons, if we go to it right now. I don't have the weapon available because I couldn't find one. But just add 100 to the attack. There's no difference in my opinion. You get one extra stat that you can re-roll. But just... And if you're into that thing, go ahead. But I'm a casual person. I just log in to play CS and that's about it. So this has been Fonzie and that's my opinion on the armor. This is my opinion and if you do not like it, you can leave a comment and tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm extremely wrong, tell me. If I'm right, you can agree with me. But this is just my opinion on the new armor set. And about the instances, um, WH1 is kind of tedious. Even on normal mode, I really don't like it too much. I prefer to do the seven man or the three man. The three man is a lot of fun. I don't know why. I like doing that. I do it just for fun. I already have all my rings and everything. And also my earrings. I still do them for fun. Um, if you guys can leave a video suggestion about Terra, I can do it, I guess. I was thinking about making a guide on how to make gold or how to do well in CS. Likes or maybe opinions could help me make my decision on which video you guys want to see next. Well, thanks for subscribing and hope you leave a comment. Bye.